All right, everybody, it's live show nine. Yay. Woo! And we're watching the premiere of the Legends of the Hidden Temple reboot on the CW. Yes, we've been waiting 24 years for this. And hey, I'm I'm even getting myself uh, gussied up for the occasion. Give me a second. Yeah, well, I had to get a stream through other methods so that we could all watch this on Zoom together. So, yeah. Cause, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, because the CW itself doesn't live stream, so you know you have to do what you can, so. Ooh, we're going to play, Steve. Oh, never mind. He says oh. that because... Billy 57 airs last year's or two years ago reruns of The Feud on Sunday nights. So does the affiliate here. Um, And I'm I'm actually going to take a real quick look. Oh, they didn't preempt it. Oh, holy crud. Okay. Yeah, Um, my my local Feud affiliate airs Family Feud reruns whenever. Yeah, so we did this stream because Mike was worried about... um, yeah, because the Browns game, because they were playing the Chargers today. Really good game, that game. Super game. Yeah. Uh, your CW station, I guess, airs the Browns post game? Uh, occasionally, and it just happens that today is one of those days. Um, and, and actually, the the, uh, uh, the independent affiliate, actually in Akron, Akron, Cleveland, technically, they do air Family Feud on Sundays as well, 7 to 8 p.m. Oh, okay. So, so that's the thing. But no, actually, the, uh, the uh, post-game show did not get uh, delayed or, or preempted in any way. Uh, it's actually airing right now. Uh, again, we're watching a slight delay because, well, stuff happens. But, oh my gosh. I, I'm just liking the, the open. Uh, it, it's different than what we're used to, but yeah. All wow. Right. That, that's That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm waiting for this Chevy Silverado. It's over now. Here we go. Turn it up. Crank it, boy. Do you want to turn up a little more? I thought... I just want... I just have to have it low because I uh, can't hear you guys both with the audio, so... Oh. oh, wait, oh. I, I don't have screen share. Hold on. That explains Ooh. it. I didn't share sound, that's These why. Four teams have a chance to become heroes and win a king's ransom. $25,000. That's better than a trip to space camp, son. Enter my temple to try. And here's their guide to tell them how to do it. Christella Alonzo. Thanks, old man. Hey everybody! Uh, you go she, uh, let me tell you right now, he has the look so down. Great to see you. Great to see you too, Christella. Have you been working out? I am pretty buff, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> How could Olmec work out? Lost treasures from the most amazing legends. That in is history. a hidden temple. What legend are our heroes living today? The Maya legend. Oh, we got a comic book style ball. with the lucky losing pop to pop ball of the hero cultures. twins. Like, this is awesome. One of these four teams of heroes has the chance to enter your temple. Oh, they're only doing four teams at a time this time. Oh, yeah, because the original was six, right? Yes. The purple parrots. We have Travis and Tom, the purple parrots. Soul sisters, Joel and Diamond. Cheryl and Diamond. The green monkeys, besties who green monkeys, party, best friends, Chelsea, Chelsea and, and Maddie. Or the blue barracudas. Roommates, John Johnny Connor. Connor. Oh, barracudas! John's, John's giving a thumbs down like, you're going down. But watch out because the blue barracudas are coming for you. 
we so there's no silver snakes college. and what's we the other one that's missing in dance backgrounds i was an osu cheerleader go bucks silver I'm snakes like, um silver snakes definitely all the time together, yeah and i just know she's out there orange iguanas nope. oh it's iguanas yeah maybe they're in another episode before we let our heroes oh that'd be nice if they randomized it like that Olmec. tell us more about their mission this story comes from the sacred book of the Maya called the Popol Vuh. The hero Ooh. twins are conceived when their goddess mother Ishkik stopped to admire a fruit tree growing near a sport court used for the Maya ball game called Pock to Pock. The fruit tree is inhabited by the reincarnated spirit of Hunapu, a heroic warrior who spits magical black seeds into Ishkik and voila! She's pregnant with twins. She names the twins Hunapu after their father and Ishbalanke. They grow up hearing stories of their father's heroic efforts, discovering that he was murdered by two evil lords of the underworld oh. named One Death and Seven Death. So they set out. Ooh, what happened to two through six to death? Their father's murder, and they took their lucky ball with them everywhere they went. Uh, we met doing uh, hardcore shows, death metal shows. We both play in different bands. And now we're metal dads. We are both dads now, yeah. Metal dads. Crazy metal metal band, dads. Jumping off a stage or changing diapers. We are the hero twins. Like, we embody them fully. Me and Maddie, you were always down for a fun time. Ride or die. Green monkeys are here to win rent money. Yes. And... I need a new car. Our teams are about to start a quest oh. full of physical and mental. They're gonna go on this raft. To determine which team is worthy. A wooden of raft. Your temple. The first test is crossing your moat. Olmec, how are we doing it today? Before the heroes avenge their father's murder, they get some practice on a conceited bird named Seven Macaw. Oh. Who are the twins taking down the bad bird? On Cristela's signal, push your raft into the moat. Then pull a stone out of that bag. You know what? This would be great for my dad, because he would probably think, oh, this is what they should have at the... Because as you may or may not know if you regularly listen to this podcast, my dad thinks that they should build a moat around City Field and use it for, like, <laughs> synchronized swimming. This is what he actually believe, wants and believes. He would love this. It would be a nice skating rink in the winter. Yeah, he wants synchron. He wants to uh, figure uh, speed skating in the winter, and he wants Apollo Anton Ono on it. The last team is out. Bring on the Oh, metal! Wait, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Oh yeah. On your mark. Say it. What the hell? That's not the line! No, but he did his... But he did his... I don't know what I'm supposed to say! Oh, I thought you were going to say he was doing his impression of Ryan Lochte. Oh, yeah! I thought he was so, doing his impression Ryan, of Randy Ryan Savage. Savage. Yeah, that, that, that was his... That was um, his, his uh, Randy Savage. He wanted to do his uh, Ryan Lochte be all... Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! I want to intimidate the other teams. I want them to see that we're forced to be wrecking with. Oh, here come the green monkeys. I grew up as a competitive swimmer, so I feel pretty good. Cut to us literally drowning. Yeah. I love that Maddie's occupation is content creator. Does that mean that's our... That's our uh... Yeah, that might as well be our jobs. Our job. Our thing. Professional shopper. Okay. Professional. That's an occupation. Professional entertainer. shopper. Entertainer. Quote unquote. Entertainer. Wink. Quotes. To be the best, because I mean, at the end of the day, like, he works at female zippers. Zippers. Female zippers. Assemble the clue. They have to figure out what it's telling them to look for. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is the ad I'm using. Hang on. Oh. All right. Sorry. This is what the live show is. Yep. 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 But right now we're in the middle of the moat. You're not missing anything. Poison. 
poison is right. Yeah, now they have to find the two bottles that combined make the venom. The bottle venom? Where's? I thought we did that last night, Chico. We did do venom last night. Now they're doing venom tonight. Purple parrots and green monkeys. You know what we learned last night, Chico? That if you feel hot, you can always take a nice, good bath in a lobster tank. And hey, you can eat the lobsters while you're there. Oh, the stream stopped for me. Uh, oh, now it's back on. So, so, okay, so the mode is basically turned into a survivor challenge. If that makes any sense. Yeah. It is. I, I get that. That's a good comparison. All right, now they, now finally they can do something. Poison the bird before they hit the gong. Poison the bird. Poison the bird, then hit the gong. That's poison. Poison Just the bird. Just pour it. Pour it. I guess. Pour what is that? And Gatorade? A, one step closer yeah. to the temple run. My mom cannot believe it right now. She's up in heaven, loving this. Like, go, baby, go, baby, go. We need two more teams to advance. The purple parrots, the green monkeys, or the blue Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? That's probably like it, how King Arthur would be very proud of the games on Knights and Warriors. <laughs> I, I would love to hear Olmec say, go baby, go baby, go. Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, we're watching. Yeah, because my stream's... Doing My havoc mom and cannot believe it right now. We're hearing it again. Heaven, loving this, like go baby, go baby, go. <laughs> that should be in like our our sound bites now. Go baby, go baby, go. Hit the gong. Yeah, it down and hit the gong. Moving on. Best of luck in the hidden temple. Purple parents. Go baby, go. Oh. Oh my gosh. And then it just stops. Now the stream stopped again. Shoot. All right. Hang on. Yeah, this is the problem with live shows, kids. Oh, oh you're what? Oh. Okay, so the green monkeys advance too. So they're going to commercial break. So it's the red jaguars, the blue barracudas, and the green monkeys. Yep. The purple parrots, you guys can fly on out of here. Were, were those the hardcore dads? Uh, I think so. Yeah, they were real. They did a really crappy job. Let's be honest. I'm glad they're out. I want to hear more. Go baby, go baby, go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Go. Her mom is up in heaven being like, you know what? I'm very proud of what you did on Legends of the Hidden Temple. And by the way, did you know that King Arthur would be very proud of the games on Knights and Warriors? Joe Fowler said so. Yeah, but Joe Fowler didn't say, go, baby, go, baby, go. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> oh, my. <sighs> Oh, look, it's a progressive ad. Gee. Whiz. For the Adams family, too. Which they've only shown, like, nonstop for the last three weeks. And I love that the Adams family house is protected by flow. Because. I, I will go. I will literally drive down the four or five miles I need to go to get to Progressive HQ and say, Dear Progressive, I don't like your ads. Yes, but thank you, you for not like firing any of my family members that work for you. But you do like the ads. You just don't know it. I I, I think you it's you like they're, the ads. They're they're too repetitive. Plus, also, I don't like you know the corporate sponsorship. A progressive is sponsored or sponsoring Adams Family too. Don't care about that. Oh you time out! Oh time out! We got Eugene Levy in this ad for Capital One right now. 
Speaking of corporate synergy, am I right? Yeah. What's in your wallet? My driver's license, mostly. Uh, fifth third, sorry. Oh, do you, oh, look at this Domino's ad. They got surprise freeze now whenever you order. I I had one of those freeze. Oh. What'd yeah. you get? I got uh, cinnamon. I got cinnamon knots. Ooh. Oh, they're delicious. They're delicious. I haven't ordered in Domino's forever. I love Domino's. When I worked I, at... I used to work at a Domino's 27 years ago, and there's a reason why I don't go there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I didn't work at a good Domino's. Let's just say that. No, not nope. the best. Oh, by the way, Killer Camp, back for a second season. Well, it's the first season involving Americans, but, yeah. You know. Okay, we're back. Oh, the steps of knowledge. How are you feeling? You think you're ready for this next game? We're so excited. We're ready to take on the steps of knowledge and take it on to the next round. Yeah. Take it. Now, let's see how smart you are. Oh, it's purple parrots, green monkeys, and red jaguars. Yes. Blue barracudas. Blue barracudas were the team that stunk. Uh, so we kept the hardcore dad. Yep. Now, pay attention to this legend, because your knowledge of the legend could bring you one step closer to Old Mech's temple. The lords immediately put them to That's the about right, isn't it? Yeah. All right, I'm going to hear this. They pass the first two. However, the third test is not so easy. Take these oh. lit cigars into the house of darkness and keep them lit all night long. Maya stogies can't stay lit all night, so the twins collect fire. By the way, Deep Bradley Baker is a legend. And fool oh, yeah. Lords. Cool test, lords. Thanks. We're out of here. Not so fast to the house of bats. Is there anything disturbing about this skeleton's alive? A little bit in their blow guns, so the lords send them to the cold house where they use fire of freezing cold. Man, these dudes aren't giving up till we're dead. They devise a plan to complete. That's the plan, man. They will be put to death. Hey, Hunapu, grab our lucky ball and let's die. The twins lose the Wait, what? <laughs> grind them and their ball into a fine powder, pouring them into the river. When the powder is out of sight, it magically reconstitutes into the hero twins and their pock to pock ball. Which is now their lucky losing ball. Ooh! The lucky losing ball of the hero twins. We're gonna do it. We're the purple parrots, and we're gonna be one step. Oh, metal! will be asking you questions. Death metal. The legend you just heard. You'll also ask general knowledge questions related to the story. Once he asks the questions, stomp on the ancient mark in front of you. If correct, you will take a step down. If not, or if you take too long to answer, the other teams will have a chance. The first two teams to come down will move on to the temple games. The last team will be out. We're prepared to come in, listen to what Omen has to say, and answer all the questions. Did correctly. she just right. say Omen? Omen. I think Omen. she just did, yeah. Omen! Uh, oh. Gary Omen! No. Oh, no. What game do the hero twins play? Red Jaguars, pop to pop. That is correct. That... One step down. Congratulations. Olmec, next question, please. What was the name? I like that the they kept the original the sound effects. Defeat. Green monkeys? The Lords of Death? Incorrect. No. Purple parrots? Seven macaw. That is correct. Oh, congratulations, purple parrots. Olmec, next question. This hero twin story originated in Central America, in particular, parts of Guatemala. What does the name Guatemala mean? Is it hills of jade, land of many trees, volcanic landscape, or well, cradle of chocolate? The cradle of chocolate? Red jaguars? Hills of jade. Incorrect. Purple parrots. Land of many trees. That is correct. Oh, one step down. All right, the purple parrots are one step away. Olmec, next question, please. 
What kind of creature helps the twins in their cigar test? Red Jaguars, Fireflies. That is correct. Oh, and nag. Oh, red okay, red Jaguars, two teams are once up away from the temple games. It's anybody's game. Olmec, next question. What traditional dolls originated in Guatemala? Paper dolls, porcelain dolls, voodoo dolls, or worry dolls? Purple parrots? Worry dolls. That is correct. Oh, Purple parrots are advancing! Metal! Metal! But the parrots will always fly high. Who will join them? <laughs> That's not metal. No. That's not metal. This view from up here on the top of the steps. It's not cute. Need to get down there quick. Yeah. Oh, Maddie and Chelsea from question. Perkin County, New Jersey. Special shout out to Gordon Pepper. Named after. Green monkeys? His father. That is correct. Oh, yes. All right. They got one step. <laughs> There's still hope for us. There's still hope. There's still hope. Olmec, next question. Where did the twins go for their third test? Green monkeys. House of bats. That is incorrect. <laughs> Red Jaguar. Dude. Out of darkness. That is correct. Go, baby, go, baby, go. We're moving on to the temple game. Oh, we are so stoked right now. We can't <laughs> believe it. We're still going to bring it through for the ladies. Let's go. Boys drool and girls rule. Go, baby, go, baby, go. I am so sorry, but unfortunately, that means you're not moving on. Oh. oh. I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. Oh. I'm having a sangria Tomorrow? in 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm but you are not leaving empty-handed. Please tell them what they won. On top of your green monkey shirts, you're going home with a whole bunch of Legends of the Hidden Temple signature swag. Yes! Oh! Oh! Ooh, nice. Beach towels, sports chairs, I lost, I lost on the steps. There's a shirt that says, I lost on the steps of knowledge. Red Jaguars and the Purple Rich. Are one step Gold. $25, that's that's, that's, be be that's better than their silver shirt. Right. That's better than the silver, silver uh, steak shirts. Okay, I gotta say, the steps themselves, I mean, outside of you know, modifying it from four players or four teams to three, those looked authentic. Oh, the, I mean, they look they, very similar to how they did back in the. Uh, in the oh, yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, Greg had to uh, leave the proceedings. And um, we lost our little video feed, so we're going to actually do this through uh, the actual um, airing. And I, I've got the, uh, the show on, and I'm going to unmute my volume now. Okay. I also have the actual show on. The first team to collect two pennants of life have proven themselves worthy and will be invited to enter Olmec's temple. First temple game they are playing head to head. So, teams, go and get ready. And Olmec will tell us more about temple game number one. All being reincarnated, Munakule Ishwanake faced many tests at the hands of the lords of the underworld. In this game, you are the hero twins, facing the same tests. When Christella gives the signal, go to the House of Darkness and use your blowguns to collect five fireflies without touching the flies with your hands. Then proceed to the House of Bats. Use those planks to build a bridge that will get you out of the house, then shrink yourselves into those blowguns and roll them across the bridge. Climb over and under the obstacles to arrive at the House of Cold, where you must both get into the ice bath and search for wood to build a fire to keep you warm. The first team to pass these three tests and hit their gong wins. Parrots mean only one thing to a jaguar in the jungle. Lunch. In our story, we're the hero twins. The red jaguars, they're one death and seven death. And our seven. job, take them out. All right, teams, on your mark, get set.
And they have to. They 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 just have to finish it. They don't have like a set time limit. Both teams got the first of five fireflies down. Okay, and the fireflies, by the way, are just yellow ping pong balls. Hey, what do you want for a blazing hot day in the Simi Valley, huh? By the way, special shout out to our friend Derek Pierce who uh, actually worked on this version. And yeah, these aren't nice little one minute and done type of uh, events like they did on the old show. Oh no, this is like an obstacle course. Each other for a minute. So if you play until someone dies, this is an hour long show. Well, there's editing. <laughs> oh. Greg to the rescue, Mike. Yeah, I see that. Hold on. Right now, the music is a step up. Feels like I'm in an adventure. We should have just thought outside of the box a little bit more because the boys definitely were less delicate and the fireflies down. But then the rest of it, not even close. This could be Diamond and Joel's chance to catch up. Uh, I'll play right now. These look so much harder than the games that we watched growing up. Oh my god, I'm drunk. Ha, drunk. The House of Cold will sober them up. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, they're in Southern California. They could use ice cold baths. Oh, yeah. And they're building fire. They're literally building fire. You know, they could they could actually build an actual fire. It's anyone's game now. Oh, they kept they kept the gongs. I like that. Oh, nice. A challenge was intense. Purple parrots, you came in first, which means you get one pendant of life. But don't worry, Diamond and Joel. You still got a chance to redeem yourself in Temple Game number two when we come back. All right, now that we're in an ad, we're going to try doing this again. Um, I'm going to uh, try to use the link that Greg used, and uh, I'm going to do a screen share. So let's see how functional this is. It's, it's, oh, there we it's, go. it's Skype, so it's basically them playing catch-up with uh, Zoom. Oh, so. hold on a second. I need to unblock uh, my ad blockers. Uh, of uh, of course it would be the ad blocker. Of course it would be an ad blocker. Okay. There we go. Let me try this again. Stupid you know, we're in the middle blockers. of a commercial, so it's all cool. It's like stupid ad blockers and there's stupid ad blocking that is really, really useful, but people have gotten around, gotten uh, way around it, which is kind of weak, if that makes any sense. 
Stupid ad blockers, stupid Flanders. That's all I have to say. All right, let's see here. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. Now let me try this. Come on. Um. Okay, here we go. Look at this. I'm looking at it. I see a blink. Oh, I, I saw Iron Man. There was an Iron Man. Humanity once believed we were gods. There we go. With what this planet now faces, they will believe again. Eternals assemble. What's the plan? We fight. Marvel Studios Eternals. Ray PT-13. Only in theaters I'm November I'm going to see 5th. the Eternals. <laughs> Um, just for a quick second, can you possibly turn your mic up a little bit or your, your, um, your audio? I, the best I could do is move my mic closer. Okay. I'm going to try and turn this as low as I can. You're coming in kind of soft. Oh. To another wireless contract. Keep your phone. Keep your number. Okay. Well, that's contract. about as good as it's, it's going to get, I think. I think anything yeah. lower than this. Truly unlimited data it's on a nationwide 5G network. Yeah. Well, 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 how am I coming in? Simple I mean, mobile. I, You're coming in fine. Uh, to, like I said, just a little low. Okay. Um, well, that, well, that's okay. Yeah, well, we'll I'll, I'll, try, I'll try and, you know, make up for it by being very... Uh, Boisterous? Like, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be boisterous. Okay, I I, I just don't want your uh, you to be tuned out, uh, or too quiet because I don't want to have to pull out the whammy and say you're muted. It's all about the breath. I love that whammy, by the way. Top of the morning. There's a piece of this game for. Uh, by the way, I'm wearing my shirt with all uh, all three. All, uh, all three, all six animals on it. Oh, and actually, I did want to mention before Greg uh, left us that Legends of the Temple has really had like a resurgence over the last, I'd say, five or so years. Uh, so much so to the point, and I've, I've mentioned this, I think, on previous shows, that uh, the local uh, Lime team uh, back in 2016, uh, the Lake County Captains, had a Legends of the New Temple. It won't stop. And it was amazing. I mean, it, it wasn't really amazing because they did Legends type of game. But there must have been probably about a dozen or so people, uh, maybe even more, who were in pairs dressed up as uh, players on the Legends of the New Temple. They had the shirts and they had uh, the mock uh, uh, medallions and whatnot. But did they have temple guards? That I they didn't know. have. That that would have like that, that would have pushed. Them the top. Oh yeah. The Legends of the Hidden Temple. Congratulations, Purple Parrots. You have won one pendant of life, but remember, you need... Oh, and I say medals. I meant pendants of life. I have another one here. I don't know how really, I blank Mike? on that. Up for grabs. So, really? Number two is one team at a time. Purple Parrots, you won the Steps of Knowledge, and you have chosen to go second. All Mech is going to tell us more about Temple Game number two. After the Hero Twins are reconstituted... They acquire the ability to reincarnate living things. They go on tour disguised as magicians like Mayan David Blaine's, cutting living things into pieces, then bringing them back to life. Their gruesome act gets the attention of one death and seven death, who once again are unaware they uh -oh. are and Ishbalanke. The Lords demand a private performance of the dirty deed. Do one where you cut us up. Then you can put us back together. The brothers are happy to oblige. Okay. This That's gonna hurt. You are the hero twins bringing that performance to life. But first, get into the sky so the lords don't recognize you. When Christella gives the signal, one of you open that chest and put on a piece of your magician's costume. Describe it to your partner, who must find the matching item and put it on. 
Once you are properly disguised, it's showtime! Run over to the stage and throw your knives at one of the lords until there are nine body parts on the ground. Indulge the fevered crowd oh. by throwing all nine huh, body must parts. Must be Minecraft knights, am I right? Your gong and stop the clock. There's definitely a Minecraft vibe there. The act of the Hero Twins fastest wins. We're going first, but we're not scared. We're going to set the bar, and we're going to set the bar very high, and we're going to try to move as fast as we can to make sure that we have the time to beat. Olmec, set the clock. On your mark, get set. Nice clock. Okay, Joel and Diamond need to communicate loud and clear through that solid wall. Um, cheat of skirt. I think this was like a game they used to play all the time on Shop Till You Drop. Yes. Yes, it was. It's a recycled stop Shop Till You Drop game. They recycle a lot of games between Shop Till You Drop and Le Legends of the Hidden Temple. Uh, outside of Funhouse, those two shows, Shop Till You Drop and Legends of the Hidden Temple, were the Stone Stanley moneymakers back in the day. If that makes any sense. No, you're exactly right. It's the same production company. Oh, really? Outside, outside of uh, Funhouse. Wow, Joel, into the line of fire to collect those knives. I love it. Now Diamond to the knife pack. These girls really trust each other. Okay, the Lord's all cut up. Time for the big finale. Throw the nine body parts through the Mayan group. One down, eight more This was me, cheerleaders. You would think they have better aim than this. A lot harder than it looks. Ugh. Those blocks are almost the same size as a circle. Yeah, little room for error. Very little room for error. Oh, six more. They gotta hurry. Oh, and just like Legends of the Hidden Temple, there's a little bit of um, to go, but they are eating audio enhancement, time. let's say. A little home cooking. Uh, a little sweetening. extra sound effects. Remember, Some sweetening. Diamond and Joel have to win this game to stay in. That's the word, sweetening, yes. They need two more. You know, Costello has this whole theater of the mind thing down pat, if you ask me. Oh, and Red Jaguar has hit the gong. They finished that challenge in three minutes and 19 seconds. That means to get the pen out of life, the purple parrots have to beat that time. And remember, you know, if the purple parrots beat the time, do, they win so and go win. to the temple. All right. Purple parrots? All right, Tom and Travis, if you win this, you are going to the temple. But if you it lose, said that. Joel and Diamond have forced a tiebreaker. On your mark, get set, go! Come on, let's go, purple. Purple parrots need to get the poncho, loincloth, and headdress on before they can unclip. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's go, y'all. Yeah. Get it together. You better catch go, 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 go. up. Oh, they have the poncho. Uh. It's not only about physical, it's also about mental around here. They are assassins. Yeah, the pants, right? Yeah, you got it? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh. No, the red, no, the oh, red jackwards are going to win this one, I think. Uh, Got the headdress, headdress, headdress. Let's go, purple. Come on. All right, I got it, I got it. Got it. All right. Nope. Wrong. What is What's it? What's wrong? I got the headdress, what, what I got the cloth, and I got the loincloth on. We figured by observing, it would give us an advantage, but it did not. Yeah. Uh, uh, when we went, they, yeah. they smacked us. Because they didn't need to observe, so they could just let it let loose let it and, and distract us from communicating. What do you got? What are you mixed up with? There's a pant. There's a pant in here. No, no, loincloth, dude, loincloth. No, Come no pants. Loincloth. Chicken, honey. Loincloth is gonna just one long section in got the it, Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. He's killing me. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, wow. let's go. Ready? Loincloth. They used up two full <laughs> minutes getting disguised. Mm, Wait. I think we're gonna do a tie break. Tom. Your loincloth fell off. You have to be fully dressed. What? Yeah, you gotta cover your loins. What? Oh, it fell off. No, you both have to be dressed. Like these guys have never. You worn have to wear before. pants. They have 35 yeah. seconds gloves. to cut up the Lord and throw the body parts through the hoop, or we have a tie. We're at 30 seconds. Oh, they're definitely making up some time. Let's see if they can make a run. Nope, nope. Travis is like 6'10, but can he hit free throws? 
I think that's a no. That would be a no. That's a no. Well, I wish I had a sack sound effect uh, making fun of him, uh, his free throw shooting. We're going into tiebreaker situation. Sack looked like the best free throw shooter ever compared to him. Jaguar swagger right there, like we don't. Jag swag. Jaguar is one appendant of life. Oh. Go girl, go girl, go. Now though, we're at a tied game. One pendant of life each. It all comes down to this one question about the hero twins. Whoever gets this question Ooh. right wins the second pendant of life and the right to enter Olmec's temple for a chance to win $25,000. Who knows what the question may be, so pretty much everything is in the hands of Olmec. Olmec? What's the question? Who previously failed the first three tests the Hero Twins did? Purple Ferret. Their father, Hunapu. That is correct. Oh, purple parrot! You get these two pendants of life, and we'll be moving on to the temple run. Now that we've gotten everybody out of the way, you know, we're gonna kick the crap out of the temple. Red Jaguars, thank you so much for playing, and you're not going away empty-handed. You've won an electric scooter from Razor for each of you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It's the EcoSmart SUP electric that was scooter. That obvious uh, edits are obvious, by the way. Deck, twist grip throttle, and pneumatic tire tube. They sound very disappointed. Miles on a single charge. Our time here on Legends has definitely been relatable to a journey in life. There's always room for improvement, and there's always room for growth. No. When we come back, the purple parrots get a chance to run Olmec's temple to retrieve the lucky losing poke to poke ball of the hero twins and a chance at $25,000. You don't want to miss it. No, we don't. Okay, the thoughts way. this far. Oh, oh God. This far, I should say. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Uh, you know, I'm trying to enjoy this. I really am. But the edits are just too, too much, you know? Right, right, right. It's like they were trying to, it's like they rushed through this. I mean, I see what they were trying to do. And if they had the time to do it, I think they would have done it well. But it looks to me like they rushed through this. Yeah. Uh, I, I will say one major positive that I really enjoy. Those comics. Oh, the definitely. Th that yeah, really the, the artwork enhances it that amazing. much. And it's well done. I mean, it's, it's got a sort of a retro look to it. It's, it's not, you know, it doesn't look like uh, some of the animation you see on uh, children's programming, Nickelodeon and, and Cartoon Network. But it, it, it is like that retro comic vibe, and I love that. Oh, yeah. But, you know, it's one of those things, and I, I keep saying this on this show, nostalgia is not an excuse to half-ass things. No, understandable, understandable. I also like, at least based on this episode, and I'm going to presume the rest of them, that there's no way to end in a tie on any particular event. Right. So you go to the, the temple with one and a half pendants. No, you go to the temple with... Because uh, each game is worth one pendant. And the tiebreaker is worth one as well, because they're, yes. they're going with two pendants. So no, that, that's a positive, so... There won't be a half of a pendant of life hidden somewhere in there. No. And this and this uh this temple looks like it's three dimensional. Maybe. I don't know. It it looks like it has some depth to it, is what I'm trying to say. No, I get I what you're saying. I wanna see if it has depth to it. 
and we've got almost 15 minutes left, so that makes you wonder either how long or how difficult this uh, tempo run is going to be. I don't think it's going to be three minutes. I, for some reason, I think nope. it's going to be a little more intricate. It's going to be like a five-minute run. Well, we have to explain what's in the temple first. It doesn't take 15 minutes to explain what's in the temple. No, it doesn't. It doesn't really. But it took, like, a lot of time to explain everything else so far this show. Well, they've got to fill an hour. Yeah, they do. And we should be coming back shortly, so... Oh, there's Ben Frank. Ben Franklin! You don't have to be famous to hire America's largest injury law firm, Morgan & Morgan. It's That's incredible. That's one for another episode. <laughs> Start. Yeah, I think just looking at that, that may be uh, something we'll have to convince Greg to put on for Hometown Commercials 3. Morgan & Morgan, the most famous injury attorneys in the country... And I've never heard of him till now. With Same. Ben Franklin. Same. W Philly. Maybe people like us ain't supposed to have it all. You have given me everything. Finish it. Welcome back to Legends of the Hidden Temple. Here with me, we got Travis and Tom, the Purple Parrots. They have proven themselves worthy and will be allowed to enter Olmec's temple. Feeling strong, super pumped, ready for the temple, ready to run it. Before we let them loose to retrieve the lucky losing puck to puck ball of the Hero Twins, Olmec, tell us how the story ends. The Hero Twins' mission is to avenge their father's murder by ridding the world of one death and seven death with the evil lord slashed into tiny pieces and scattered on the ground the boys refuse to use their magic to put them back together oh. leaving them to die a miserable death oh that's Mission fun <laughs> but the hero twins have one last magic act to perform on their way home they stop to visit the magic fruit tree where this story began in one final gesture, with peace in their hearts, they bring their father, Hunapu, back to life. I love that ending. <laughs> We're both dads, two sons. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I mean, oh. I would hope son would avenge my death in any way necessary. Oh, man. Where is the lucky ball? The pock to pock ball of the hero twins may be found in the dark forest. There are many challenges and locked doors in Olmec's temple that stand between you and the puck to puck ball. So before Olmec opens his gate, he's going to give you some information that'll help you make your way through the temple. Olmec? Find your way into the dark forest by entering the Crystal Cenote, where only one of the three doors opens. Choose the low door and you could enter the Crypt of the Heartless. Reach into the rotting corpses until you find the beating heart. Place the bloody organ into the chamber to open the door to the pit of despair. Where one of three doors will open, you could climb the bony walls and enter the spider's lair. Avoid the deadly spiders as you look for one of two open doors that may lead you to the Royal Rage Room. Release your those clay pots to find three jade rage room. Royal Rage Room. Royal to I unlock like. the door to the room of the beloved. Maneuver the ancient skull through the maze, reuniting it with its skeleton to gain entrance to the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Oh no! Oh no, not the Shrine of the Silver Monkey! That you can, you could open the gate to the room of the lost treasure. Remove the rods to drop refuse on the floor. In the trash heap is the lost jade stone. Return it to its pedestal to open the door to the queen's armory. Dress the queen for battle in magic armor, and she may allow you to climb down the ladder of death into the dark forest. 
to finally grab the lucky losing Pock to Pock ball. All of the doors will instantly unlock and the temple guards will vanish. Race back through the Crystal Cenote and through the temple gates before time runs out. The choices are yours and yours alone. Who is going first? I am. Very well, Travis. I want Travis to go first because he's going to have the reach. He's going to have the strength. When Cristela gives the signal, race through the gates and make your way towards the lucky losing Pock to Pock ball. But beware of the dreaded temple guards. Assigned to protect three specific rooms. Get caught, and you may trade your pendant for an extra life and go on. But get caught a second time, you will be without a pendant, and it will be Tom's turn to enter and try his luck. Return through the gates with the ball in four minutes, and you will oh, both four be... four minutes and, now. And here's how. Just for getting into the temple gates, you have already won $2,500 in a spinning account provided by Chime. Grab the lucky losing pock to pock ball at the Hero Twins within four minutes, and your account will increase to $10,000. If you can bring the pock to pock ball out of the temple before your time is up, your account will grow to $25,000. All from our good friends at Chime. Chime is yes. the award winner. It's 2021, and Fortunes of the Hidden Temple is sponsored. Yay, intro advertising. Hey, you think this temple pays for itself? For 25 grand, I'm ready for anything. (laughs) Minutes on the clock. Olmec, open your gate. Oh, okay. All right. Travis, on your mark, get set. Go! Come on, Travis, you got this, you got this, you got this! Come on! Into the crystal cenote. Turn the bottom door. Oh, he's in the crypt of the heartless. Give me your pencils! One thing I like is they have the map. Uh, the next temple guard is... takes him out of the well, temple. Give me your pencils! Okay! Oh, one of those skeletons has a beating heart Travis has to find. Ah! Yes! There's a door from the pit of despair right into the dark forest, but it's locked! Yeah, you have to go around it. Go all the way around and back down to get there! I just said that. Oh man, he's gotta go to the spider lair. All right, Travis, you're doing this. Great job, great job. Yes! Awesome! Spider lair, let's see where you end up. Come on, go ahead. Travis, you've got three minutes left. Yes, yes, that's right, you're coming up. Travis is in the room of the beloved. Now he has to play Plinko with the skulls. That's basically what it is. Plinko with the skulls. Like death metal with no metal. Come on, like we got this. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Keep it going, Travis, you're doing great, you're doing great. Travis is in the shrine of the silver monkey. He needs to build it. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, what's even worse than the Shrine of the Silver Monkey? The Shrine of the Silver Monkey with a temple guard in it! Yo, yeah. Did not see that coming. Give me your pendants! Okay. Oh, fine. Guess I'll go gamble a bit. You know, so far it's got a very good sense of authenticity. Oh, very good sense of authenticity. Even though the beating heart is something that's a little different. But, but I did like that uh, that skull maze or whatever they called it. I will uh, you say gotta that use your, your foosball skills there. I will say that the temple run is so far the best part of the show. But that's to be expected because, well, it's the temple run. Yeah, when we were kids, or in my case, when I was in my we late teens, early 20s, uh, well, it was after I uh, went to college the first time, and uh, I was actually in the working world. But the thing is, people of that age who were in there uh, between, uh, let's say, 8 and 10 up to, again, probably about 2021, 20, we didn't come to see 
the preliminary stuff. We didn't come to see the steps of knowledge. We didn't come to really see the, the uh, derivative games that they played. We came to see the temple run. It's like we knew what was up. We knew what we came to see. And I do like that the temple is four minutes. But also, I really don't mind that it's split up during two acts. Oh, yeah. Keep some of the <laughs> drama. Excuse me. Well, yeah, that, but also, again, it keeps the uh, viewer's attention. I mean, I mentioned, you know, we had 15 minutes or so uh, left for the temple run, and you know, I, I thought it might be a little longer. I didn't think it might be four minutes. I thought it might be five minutes. And also, I really didn't expect it to be, you know, spread out over two acts. Oh, yeah. Well, this is how you produce a reality show in 2021. You got to pad the drama out. Yeah, and the thing is, the people behind the show, we mentioned Eric Pierce. Hey, Eric. They know what they're doing. This is not Eric's first rodeo. Nope. All right, I think we're coming back. Yes, we are. And when we last left our intrepid heroes, they were going up to the Shroud of the Silver Monkey. Tom, you're in. Tom has just over two minutes to get to the dark forest to grab the puck to football for $10,000. Oh, he's climbing his way up. Go, go, go. Oh, he's heading towards the spider's lair. You got this all day. Remember, you're going to the shrine of the silver monkey. Woo! Yes. Oh, he's running past the room okay, of the beloved. Now, let's see if he knows how to do this. One of the pieces is already in there for him. Get the base is already in. You're putting that silver monkey like it's no one's business. Oh. oh! Come on, you're coming down. You're in the room of the lost treasure. You're just two rooms away from the dark forest and the poke the poke ball. Oh, you need to remove the rod. Find a jade stone and place it on the... the. The one where you have little marbles and you don't want them to drop. Per plunk. Kerplunk, yes. Pedestal. No, no. But we want right. them to Keep drop. Doing it. Do it. Travis, let's oh, sure him on, man. Oh, where's that jade stone? The jade stone could be anywhere. Look through the pile. Oh, Where is it? On. It's right there on his left. It's right there on his left. On your left. All right, come on, Tom. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there it is. There it is. He's in the queen's armory. He needs to grab the five pieces of battle armor. Oh, no. It's not the No, that was not good timing. All the temple guards nope. are gone. Doing good. Doing good. Come on, Tom. Right, we're you got going this. for 10,000. Come on. Uh, he has 10 you, seconds. Give me there's still a chance. The Andrew, yes, Andrew, go, Andrew, go, go, go. Yes. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, no. You got all the way to the Queen's Armory, just one room away from the puck to puck ball. That $10,000 literally is right bad. there. You should be proud but of yourselves. Anger and lost to $2,500. Fuel a death metal song. But you live, you learn, you take a lesson for the next time, and then go ahead and carry on your day. You did prove worthy of entering Olmec's temple. You were second to conquer the moat. You blazed down the steps of knowledge and won the tiebreaker in the temple games. And now you're leaving here with $2,500, knowing that you're the most hardcore metal dads ever. Purple bear is forever. I'm Crystal Alonzo. Join us next time for more Legends of the Hidden Temple. Hey, Olmec, you ready to get out of here? Oh, yes. Just give me a minute to chisel my face on. <laughs> All 
We had a little pause there, appropriately right at this point. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we didn't get the credits, but that's fine. Um, you know, after that little interlude between uh, Olmec and, and Christina, um, I, I could actually see them at the bar now, you know, drinking a couple of mojitos or uh, a margarita or two. Cervezas. Yeah, I'm just wondering how he actually gets to the bar and they're just, you know, just uh, wasting time there. Uh, I, I'm, I would be afraid it would be like, uh, it was, I said Christina, it's Christella, I apologize. It's Christella. Yeah, Christella, I, I apologize about that. I, I think for some reason she needs to get a tow motor or, or maybe a very strong dolly and she needs to get some tie downs and, and she wheels him into the bar. But uh, besides that, that, that's a little you know goofiness for me. Yeah. Overall, on a scale of one to ten, how do you like this? Uh, is this well? The production values are top notch. They're absolutely up there with Survivor and Big Brother and whatnot. The editing, though, that's where it kills me. If it were. If it were up to me, I'd give it sort of a six and a half, maybe a seven. I mean, we could, I mean, you could do this a whole lot better. And maybe they will in future episodes, but they could do this a whole lot better. I wish we would uh, know if this was the first episode that was recorded or if, if this was somewhere else in the run. Because obviously if this is the first episode, yeah, there's going to be some bugs that need to be worked out. I may not be as critical as you. I would give this an eight. I think it may be a little bit of a stretch, for lack of a better word, turning this into an hour show, uh, especially when you only have four teams competing. Yeah. But they kept it authentic. I like what they added. Like I said, the comic book uh, art that was used uh, uh, in the story. That goes with the, that goes with the production values. Oh they yeah, have, they take nothing for granted on this show. It's no, like if they're gonna uh, but, go. But again, they're gonna go all out. Right, but but again, just the style they used. I mean, it was very well done. I, I like that part. The events were were clever, creative, and they were not bound by that one minute time limit they had on the original show. I mean, we we saw the uh, the second event took like. I think three, four minutes uh, for the winning team. And then even the first event, the one which was basically a five obstacle obstacle course, uh-huh. that must have taken a good three or four minutes to uh, to finish. So it's basically a that, survivor challenge. Yeah, well, well, everything was like a survivor challenge. There's a little bit more, more meat on the bone than the original series had in, in terms of you know doing a one minute event where you need to climb up a slippery slope and uh, an oiled uh, or slick slide or something like that with a rope or whatnot. But, uh, uh, and uh, the, um, the, le- uh, the temple itself, OMG. That is amazing. That is now, again, that, amazing that, that's the ultimate payoff. That's what we're here for. And it did not disappoint. Nope. Nope. Plus, we get four minutes of it, not three. And well, they're going to make you see this temple, damn it. And, and this is a minor nitpick. I would have loved if they used the temple run music from the old show. Minor nitpick. Uh, not just for the uh, retro purposes. I think for some reason that would work if they did a four minute version of that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a little too childish uh maybe it's not authentic enough for what they're trying to deliver but still seems like it's the legends of the legends of the hidden temple experience oh gosh i I wish that would happen at some sort of amusement park or universal studios or what have you oh I, i i obviously couldn't participate in it but that would be like tons of fun Hey, you know, they've got the Crystal Maze uh, uh, event uh, in uh, in England, in the UK. Mm-hmm. 
why couldn't they do something similar here with Legends of the Hidden Temple? I'm sure anybody, again, between probably the ages of 30, 35, and 45 to 50 would do it in a heartbeat. I would. I'd be like, hey, Jenna, remember that time we were supposed to be at Legends of the Hidden Temple? They're bringing it to Raleigh. Let's go. Yes, take my money. I'd love to just uh, watch that type of event happening. Uh, obviously, like I said, I couldn't necessarily participate in it, uh, but j- just to witness it would be fun. But uh, I know this is maybe a little early. I mean, we need to see how the ratings are. But do you think this survives past the first season? I think it does. I mean, if they put a, a second season of Killer Camp on, right? Because I'm watching. You no, know, I've Killer never Killer seen Camp. Killer Camp, so I'll just shake my head and say, "I agree with you." There you go. But yeah, I, I'm sure Killer Camp, whatever it is, probably has uh, a, a higher budget than uh, Hidden Temple. Uh, Twenty five thousand is next to nothing for a TV network in terms of a prize budget. But oh, I would love, love to see this come back for a second. Or even a third season. Yeah. And they'd have, like, so much, so much uh, t- chance. Uh, if they were to uh, do a second season, they could polish it up so much nicer. Also, not to take anything away from the time slot, move it to, like, Friday nights or, or promote it a little more. And what I mean by that. I saw one or two promotions on the local CW uh, channel regarding this uh, reboot in the last week. Mm -hmm. Don't let it die because it didn't get enough promotion. Promotion both on the station itself and on the internet. Uh, Talking about affiliates' websites, talking about word of mouth. I mean, unfortunately, the the one thing that I think of, sadly, Mm -hmm. is... Taskmaster reruns from what a year ago or so. It's only been a a little over a year. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And the thing is, if you remember the uh, when that aired, that was nine o'clock on Sundays. Now, admittedly, uh, I don't think there was the publicity. I don't think there was any publicity. Pretty much, it was just basically summertime filler. Yeah. But I just I, I don't want to see this show die because and again the, the parallel is Sunday nights. Uh, admittedly, it's not during the summer. I mean, we're in the middle of the fall season, and you look right now and what aired at eight o'clock on the major networks uh, tonight. You had uh, sixty minutes would have been uh, the, the last half hour of it since it ran over due to football probably. Yeah, and, and, then, and then there's more football. And then there's more football starting on NBC. You're right about that. And then Celebrity Wheel of Fortune, which I don't think is going to necessarily draw people of the age who'd watch the Hidden Temple reboot. And then uh, Simpsons and the Great North. Well, Simpsons the is Simpsons. the Simpsons. What, what can you say about that? You can't, you can't say anything bad about the Simpsons. The Simpsons is like pizza. Even bad Simpsons is better than no Simpsons. Yeah, true. Uh, I'll give you that. So please watch this. Uh, watch tell it, your uh, friends. On demand, tell your watch friends. it next Sunday, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern. You will not be disappointed. At least I don't think you'll be disappointed. It, it, it keeps its authenticity while being a show in the 2020s, not the 1990s. Right. All right. Any other final closing comments before we call it a night? I want to go in that temple. I know you do. I know you do. Problem is you're ineligible eight ways to Sunday. (laughs) But again, I mean, if enough eyes see this, you never know. They may do like a road show, not unlike what Double Dare did two or three years ago. True. I should Uh, should know. I I was at the first show of the road show. I don't necessarily think they'll get uh, Christella to host it, but wouldn't it be a hoot if they got, say, Kirk Fogg to host it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, and if they could somehow get D. Bradley Baker. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, he's so busy. American Dad and uh, all sorts of voiceover you know, work. Uh, you, know, he's, you know he's probably recording uh, Bad Batch Season 2 as we speak. Oh, I'm sure he is. Uh, he, he's got to be a very busy individual. He's got a lot of um, a, a lot of irons in the fire, if you will. Mm-hmm. So that's it for our Legends of the Hidden Temple live show. We thank Greg for hopping aboard, albeit for a limited amount of time. We thank you for listening. We also thank you for persevering between our hopping uh, onto two different calls and uh, and the different interruptions we had. Again, that just is uh, the nature of the beast. We, we got to get through it, and we did the best we could. So we will see you down the road uh, with future installments of live shows and also uh, the two installments we do every week, the minimum two installments we do every week of the main podcast. Thanks for listening. And we will see you next time. Legends of the Hidden Temple was recorded in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Florida.